so pretty. So I uh, went to go feed the fish for a moment. Didn't see him come up. One of the birds showed up over there on the other dot, but they've got that um, blocked for some reason. Might because it's just too shallow. I don't know. He's got to pull this boat way up on shore. And he can't get it out. It's so hard on the bottom when you do that. In the back, you're not supposed to be that close to shore. He had to use his fishing net to push himself out of there. Man, it is cold out there because it's so windy. It says 46, but it feels like about 31. This is Okaloosa Island. It's got Marler Park. I love this place. It's fun. But all of them are nice. I've been to some beautiful ones in Tampa. Somewhere you just pull up on the sand. It's really wild. kids in this weather. There is no way. Ugh. No way. Especially when they're not even going to left. So, when I went in Walmart this morning, I needed a quart of oil, just in case. And, uh, I'm standing at the auto counter. And I, it's early in the morning. And I'm standing there and waiting and waiting on this Oriental girl that's apparently the checker there. Guy's standing there, he's waiting for I don't know what. Maybe his car's being worked on, I don't know. We were talking about old Fort Walton and all that. He said he was originally from Ohio. And, uh, so, you know, after about 10 minutes of conversation, and while I'm standing there by the register, with my stuff, I, the girl is polishing the counter, I mean, literally polishing the counter, with a, one of those, uh, foam pads and, and some kind of spray bathroom cleaner or something. And uh, let me tell you what. Ten minutes. So then I look at her and I said, are you checking people out today? And she goes, well, I'm doing something right now. And the guy looks and he goes, yeah, he said, he said something like people don't like money or something. And I'm standing there and we're carrying conversation. I'm still waiting for her to come to the register and check me out with this one item. And uh, after a few more minutes, I ask her again, can I please just check out? Because she said, could I help you? And I said, well, I thought I was at a store. check out this item so I can go. So I was like, well, I have to finish the counter. I can't just leave it like that. And I'm just like, I said, I'm thinking in my head, like, this is not my problem. Money first. That's what pays your paycheck. You just lay that stuff down and run to get that money. So I had to wait like 20 minutes to buy a quart of oil at Walmart. And there's nobody else waiting to check out of me. I just don't know. That's why usually if I have a lot of shopping to do, 
I try to do it at the self checkout if it's available. And then if there's anything else I gotta get, I'll do it at auto to just one or two things because it it's a problem to get anything in my Whoa, that's a very broken windshield wiper. But today is the beginning of a week where we're going to have much better weather. The storm, I guess, is moving out. So here in Florida, although it's 10 degrees in Memphis, but going to defrost a little bit today. But then it'll freeze back up every night over there. Um, right now it's about 46 degrees, it says. And it's uh, about about 60 or 70. Boy, they had that outdoor church today. Woo! It'll be mostly 60 to 70 degrees in the daytimes for the next week. So, it will be much better than it has been. But it's still pretty cool.
can't stand the news because it's nothing good. <laughs> I was reading on Google that they ha I guess they have two or three different electric companies in Texas. And some people will have huge, gigantic electric bills. Like the amount of rent. Um, and so a lot of people are switching electric companies. Quickly, um, there's a the guy that's got a vacant house that's up for sale, and he's got it at 60 degree. And um, they just gave him a bill for I think it was a thousand dollars for electric for the month because they're having to go out and repair lines and everything else. So I guess they charge the customer. It's probably one of those co op deals. I don't like those. They're always more expensive, and they have their own rules, and you have to pay a fee to join their club, and all that kind of junk. It's like, you know, when you walk into the turn power on, it's like, you're hoping they'll accept you. <laughs> I've had to do it, I guess, three times in my life where they had these co-op electric situations. It's like, man, I hope I can get this sucker turned down. And I don't care if you have a pocket full of money. It is just a nightmare. Versus regular electric company. Oh, 49 degrees now. Come on, warm it up. Turn the heat on. God. <laughs> work to do. I need a really good day. A really, really good day to work here and get some serious stuff done. I got some lot of stuff done yesterday. Um, but I got a lot to do today. What I really need to do is get my mannequins out and stuff and get all this clothes and get them photographed and listed. I do have all pictures of them in computers, but, uh, I don't have time and I can't go on one of the computers, no internet service, I can do it through my phone, so, it's easier to take the pictures and upload it from my phone, I can do a minor bit of editing. Take really good pictures, you don't have to do a lot of editing. So. I just wish my two orders would be here. So I ordered that one from California. Hoping it would be here. Then it's been stuck in for who knows how long. So I turned around and ordered in state. Hoping I would get it in like two days. I can't even get that. 16th or 17th and, and like um, it just got delivered to the post office last night and it could have already been here like yesterday and the day before Pretty day today. I'll take a minute. It does turned out to be I guess pretty good cars. I my brother in law wanted to know a good car to buy because I was in the car business for a lot of years and he said I need a good small car to buy because he always drove all these huge dually trucks. He had like six of them. You just can't drive them enough to keep them alive. They just start breaking when they sit. But uh, I suggested the Altima to him, three different cars. And then he ended up buying two Altimas. And uh, he drove them quite a bit. He's passed away now. A year or two ago he passed away. I think it was in January. But he 
hit severe back problems and stuff, but uh, we got on those heavy painkillers and kind of like craved them, I guess, got to be an addict. I told them, I said, you gotta get off that stuff. And then they started blocking him from getting it. And he went to three or four different doctors at once to get prescriptions. Then they busted him for that. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. But he just uh, was very difficult to deal with because he was addicted on that. That what is it? That opium painkiller. Not a good thing. I'm sure that's what kind of ended his life. Stuff's bad news. Covered up with pain medication. Get it fixed some way, somehow. This stuff's bad news. Okay. Here we go. Ooh, let me get one quick. Talk to you guys later. Hope you have a great day. Stay warm.